In today's lesson, we're going to talk about whether it's a good idea to change your grip for any stroke in your game. If you have been playing tennis for a while and you want to change your grip for any shot, it could be a forehand, a backhand, or a serve, you're going to have a difficult time in changing your grip. And this has to do with the muscle memory of your wrist. Now, let me give you an example of my forehand. So I have a semi-Western forehand grip. So my wrist is used to a certain level of wrist extension at contact. And since the contact with the ball on the forehand is occurring when the stroke accelerates to the max, I'm not aware of my wrist position, therefore cannot change it, and I'm solely relying on muscle memory. So what happens if I hit a forehand with a continental grip, I'm likely going to have the same position of the wrist, and that's going to open the racket face. So I'll have a forehand with a continental grip, and most likely this ball is going to go long. I have no way to control it. On the other hand, if I go into an extreme western grip, my wrist will have the muscle memory to be in a certain amount of wrist extension, which will close the racket face down too much, resulting in net errors. So if I try to hit a forehand, it's very likely that I'm going to hit it into the net if I hit it with an extreme western grip. In the case that you have a continental forehand grip, yeah, most likely the wrist is going to be more in a straight position. And so now if you try to even change it to an, to an eastern grip, you'll see that in that same position the bracket face closes. Uh, it's not that much of a difference in angle, so you might be able to get away with changing from continental to eastern. However, if you go one over to semi-western, you see that in that same wrist position the racket face closes too much and you will not be able to get the ball over the net. Now on the other hand, if you're someone who has an extreme western grip, you will see that uh, the wrist will be almost completely straight at contact. And now what happens, as you go over into a semi-western grip that's more conventional, with that straight wrist, the racket face will open up and you will likely uh, start hitting balls very long. So whether you can change your grip or not will depend on how long you've been playing tennis and how much muscle memory you have developed. And this is the case for any other shot in tennis, whether you're serving with a forehand grip on the serve, it depends on how long you've been doing this. Because on the serve, if we serve with a, let's say a semi-western grip, at contact the wrist is more straight and your body gets used to that, you develop this certain muscle memory. Now as soon as you go into a continental grip with that straight wrist position, the strings are angled off to the side and you're going to start missing everything wide. So my recommendation for you is if you have a forehand grip on the serve, you must change it no matter how long you've been doing it. You must practice a lot to get your wrist used to the continental grip. On the forehand, if you have a continental grip, that is a grip of the past and I advise you to change it to at least an eastern grip. However, if you have an eastern grip, a semi-western, and a western grip, there's nothing wrong with any of these three grips, and it might not be worth uh, changing the grip because it's going to take a lot of balls, it's going to take a lot of time committed to changing the grip, and it might not be necessary. If you have problems on the forehand, uh, the cause of these problems might be something other than the grip. On the two-handed backhand, it's really only one grip you can use, which is the, uh, your dominant hand being a semi-western, a non-dominant hand between uh, the semi-western lefty and the eastern lefty. And really, this is the only way to hit a two-hander. Now, on the one-handed backhand, you have the option of going eastern, or you can even go uh, to the western backhand grip. Both of these grips are fine. Uh, the eastern backhand will give you a more neutral uh, position of the racket head, and it's going to be easier to hit the ball flat or with topspin. If you go over towards a western one-handed grip, it might be more difficult to achieve a flat backhand. Another very common problem recreational players experience is the changing of the grip mid-stroke. So on the surf, for example, players will go into continental grip and then somewhere around this area they will re-grip the racket, they will move their fingers and go back into their uh, forehand grip. Or on the forehand, if they're changing grip, they might uh, be in a correct grip and then uh, right before they drop the racket, they turn the racket around. And there's a great way for this to stop happening and all you need is a piece of paper. So now, let's talk about the surf. You're going to take a piece of paper and you're going to go into your continental grip and now you're going to put that piece of paper right beneath your fingers, right here, and you're going to hold a piece of paper. Now, if you serve and you move your fingers, this piece of paper is going to come out. So the only way to keep that piece of paper on the racket is by holding and not changing the grip throughout the motion. And this works the same way on the forehand, where you might need two pieces of paper, one small one and one bigger one, and you place it underneath your fingers like this, and you place another piece of paper right here because you do want that spreading and between the index finger and the middle finger. And in the same way, if you have muscle memory where uh, you're changing your grip mid-stroke and you let go, a piece of paper is going to fall out. And so it's a great way uh, to maintain the grip 
throughout the forehand stroke. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a comment in the section below. I'll be happy to respond. Uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.